Alright, Zerg versus Protoss, Protoss versus Zerg, Sterile versus Patience. I am um, awesome games that didn't get cast. We are back again with another pig daily, guys. It's gonna be a very <clears throat> straightforward and once again simple format for today's show. Same as what we did yesterday. We're gonna be doing an analytical cast of a pretty cool Zerg vs. Protoss series. I say pretty cool. Um I don't actually know what happens in these games. I do know the result, but I won't spoil it for anyone who didn't watch the games live in the tournament. Uh, but yeah, I, I didn't really get to watch this uh, this series at all, so I have no idea what happens in it, and I am very excited to see what goes on. This is a group stage map from the round of 24 of IEM Katowice, and spawning down here in the bottom right-hand side, our red Protoss. It is patience. So it is a best of three. This is the first map. And spawning up here in the top left hand side, the blue Zerg, it is Serral. Oh, excellent. Like zoomed out before I'd even finished zooming in. Looks like we're going to see a 17 hatch from uh, from Serral. Patience going to be going for this low ground wall in, something a lot of players haven't been opting for lately. And I hate it. I hate it when Protoss players don't go for this low ground wall in, but it looks like Patience is a man after my own heart. He's going to start walling off down there. Just a standard gate gas opening. And this was a gateway scout, so Patience didn't try to get across the map quick enough to slow down that expansion. Instead, he's just coming in here and he's going to see that it is just a hatch gas pool. And he's not too worried even about scouting, he's going to do a little bit of fancy... Oh, he didn't even deny the mining properly. Patience. Patience. Just picked up five minerals, going to walk out of the base. Meanwhile, back at home, Patience is going to be going for that cyber core. On 20 supply, immediately restarts pro production, and then he's going to drop his gas and his second pylon. So this is just the most standard opening any Protoss goes for. Interestingly, he will stay down here with his probe. So he's checking to make sure there's no drone heading out to a fast third base to drop this right around now, uh, before the queens start up. And he might also leave it around there just to try and block and slow down that third base a little bit. Serral, on the other hand, is just doing also the most standard opening. These guys really just wanting to play pretty normal, going for the gas, uh, the hatch gas pool, going for zergling speed. Interestingly, he's left guys' uh, drones mining on gas, and that means he's probably going for overlord speed if he leaves those on there much longer. There are a few other options, um, but usually that would be the case. So Serral going to immediately send one zergling across the map. Looks like this zergling... Um, yeah, it's going to go hide so the Adept can't get it. These three Zerglings going to chase off this probe, allowing this drone to go down and take a third base. And interestingly, still three guys on gas. Wow, this is, yeah, this is very interesting. So it's going to be, I believe, a very late third queen. This Zergling down here. Oh, it dodged the Adept! The okay, it dodged oh. the Adept just enough. It's going to try and zoom on nice. into that main base. Thank you so much for the sub. I forgot to turn my alerts off. I knew I forgot something. And, oh! So the Zergling's just going to try and juke and jive. Really would love to get into that main base to get some scouting. But instead, he's just going to keep the Zergling alive for now. Ooh, until the second Adept comes out. And knowing that there's no tech around this pylon, he knows, well, the other pylon must be in the main base. My Overlord's going to come in and see exactly what I'm up against. And that's very important because there is that Oracle on the way. Interestingly, as I suspected, Overlord speed is on the way, but he cancels it because he realizes that he's about to see what's going on. Good man. Good man, Serral. Gets that 100 minerals, 100 gas back, spots the oracle. We're immediately going to see some spores going down very soon. He might even skip the spore in the natural because he's got another queen popping out here and just go for the spore in the main base. And it looks like, yeah, he is, Serral. Just being very efficient so far. These adepts, though, more than a match for just six or seven zerglings. The zerglings are going to have to back off for now. Second spore crawler only just now starting up there in the natural. And of course, he's just going to not rally drones to the third as they would be easy pickings down there. Patience with a double adept and the oracle coming in looking for a bit of damage. If the zerglings jump on top of the adepts, the oracle will bring out its laser beam and actually do really well here. So there we go. Very nice play from Patience. But good pullback from Serral. Only loses a few zerglings. And so far hasn't really taken any direct damage. And I love this. A single drone goes to the third, drops a spore crawler. And that's going to, you know... Uh, get up the anti-air before the first drones arrive, or right as these first drones arrive. And this is just some sick timing here from Serral. Everything he's doing is on point, and uh, really covering all those options. Patience has gone into a Phoenix just to deny scouting behind this. I always preferred the uh, single Void Ray, though it is quite a bit more expensive. 
Uh, personal preference is everything, I guess. For now, though, no damage done. No workers killed. Luckily for Patience, he does have a fast third base. He's got the pylons, the adepts, the mothership core keeping that safe. This overlord of Serra would love to see what's going on. Doesn't see the first robo go down. And I don't think it's going to get a chance to see the forge and twilight either. If he saw those, it would be really good for him because it would tell him that there's no... Um, no gateway explosion, no big all incoming. As it is right now, he's going to see though a whole bunch of six adepts coming across the map. They're going to join up with that oracle and be as annoying as possible. Because this was a Stargate opening... All right, all right sorry guys, I gotta, gotta turn off my, my alert. I knew I forgot to do something. Derp, 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 derp. Best, best esports um, content in the world, guys. What can I say? Please send in... All your money just to say thank you for how amazing the production is on my stream because i am a fucking esports production god all right guys turned off those sound effects big thanks to everyone who has been supporting the stream um just need to turn that off so we're not constantly getting interrupted by the sound effects i will give you guys a whole bunch of shout outs once the stream is over but anyway guys six adepts gonna come in he didn't need Baneling Nest or Roach Warren because there's only one Oracle and these Adepts do not have Glaives. This was a Stargate opening, so just Zerglings are perfect if you're up against a Stargate opening. Zerglings, Queen, Spores do the job. Several there with great map control. Had enough Zerglings out, spotted it early, shuts it down. I think Serral's in a fantastic position right now. Let's check out the work account. <clears throat> 61 drones, three bases fully saturated, fourth on the way at before six minutes. Creep spread spreading out in every direction. We've got like seven or eight active tumors right now. Um, Patience has only got what? Three sentries, a phoenix, and adept. Glaives is being upgraded with plus one, and a warp prism is being made, and five more gateways. But this is so late. Uh, I always feel it's very uncomfortable getting uh, adept glaives this late. You kind of always end up in this position where you're like, okay, cool, I've got glaives. And it's like, well, the Zerg has Banelings and Roaches and a three-base economy at this point. Adepts don't really scale well later into the game. So as useful as this plus one Adept timing is for... Um, ooh, ooh, sentries in the open. Oh, one sentry does go down. Uh, slow reaction from Patience. A quicker overcharge would have meant he could have killed most of those Zerglings. But as I was saying... Basically, it's a little bit awkward because there's just no Immortals coming out right now. It's all just Adepts. Patience is just going for broke. He's just like, nope, I'm just going to try and kill you. DT Shrine behind this. He's just going to go with a huge Adept timing. Three Adepts going to hit the main. Adepts and Sentries moving down the right-hand side of the map. And he's just going to go bro go for broke. He's hoping there's no Roaches. He's hoping there's only Zerglings and Hydras, units which suck against Adepts. Nice Adept Micro here on the Prism for Patience, but he really does need to warp in. There we go. The warp in does happen. He force fields his own adepts in the back out with the warp in of units. And here we go. He's pushing in the right hand side. At the same time, Serral is not prepared for this. He's only got Zerglings right now. So he was actually being too greedy. So this, this uh, specific attack is really fantastic here. Serral desperately needs roaches. He does have plus one melee though. So that, that shade there wasn't as good as it could have been. Gave really nice surface area to those Zerglings. But Serral is taking a lot of drone losses right now. The adepts here... More and more warping in, losing a lot of mining time is Serral, the Queens and Zerglings slowly cleaning this up, but already 29 workers have gone down. Serral is down to just 40 drones right now. You've got to remember though, there's, oh my god, there's muters in the production type and plus two melee. Patience needs more damage. He needs to massacre the economy. He can't just stop here. He's got to keep going. He's got DTs warping in over there. He's going to take out the fourth. DTs will run into the third base. More DTs in the main base. Oh man, I mean, muters might be great. But I don't know if Serral's going to be able to hang on. Patience is just going for broke right now. He's got a second Robo at home. He still does not know about the Mutalisks. Those Mutas are going to fly right across the map. And all there is at home is a Mothership Core. Serral is going to really rely on doing massive damage with that. Oh, he's saved his main lair. But his third base is going down. His fourth is already dead. Here we go. Mutalisks dive into that probe line. These guys need to just destroy Patience economy. Patience goes for the, the lair. Doesn't quite get it does get the third base. It looks like Serral will be able to eventually clean that up. Mutalisks in the main base. There's Stalkers warping in there. Just four or five Stalkers, though. Not going to be able to shut this down very quickly. Serral still has all nine Mutalisks alive. He's rotating the Warp Prism as well, continuing to do little bits of damage. But okay, it looks like Serral might have finally stabilized. Actually, the DTs are just killing the Roaches, but the Warp Prism goes down with the DTs and it muters in the base and suddenly the economy is equalized. It's 50 workers versus 50 workers. The problem for Serral is he's only on two hatcheries. 
and he's lost an insane amount of mining time right now. Mutalisks are kind of cornered now. Looks like Patience defense has been good. The Muta's gonna have to keep rotating, looking for a new angle. Back at home, Zerglings are on the way. A few drones have been rebuilt. Serral doing a very good job with these Mutalisks, still keeping every single one alive. But Patience has a fourth base on the way. He has Blink. Is Patience gonna rebuild probes? Is he just gonna go mass Stalker? What's his transition from here? Taking more damage is definitely not something he wants. Got a bit lazy and clumped all of his stalkers up. And it looks like these muters are going to find an opening. And they're going to be able to do a, a drive-by here. Take out a few more probes. They're bringing it up to <laughs> almost identical workers killed here. And he finds another opening. Ah, patience with that one lapse of judgment. Just grouping up all his stalkers rather than leaving them spread out. And now his economy is down in the dumps at 42 probes versus 61 drones. Serral's third base has been rebuilt. He's injecting again. There is still this warp. Oh, a new warp prism which could come in. I think that was two warp prisms which hit him. And what is Cyril going to go for? He's got a Hydroden. He's building roaches. Uh, Roachling Bane is always an option, especially when you've already got Baneling Speed and plus two. That's going to be a pretty fantastic composition. Um, especially since Patience is on almost pure, almost pure Blink Stalker right now. And pure Blink is not what you really want against a Zergling Baneling Ravager comp. But if Patience can secure this fourth rebuild his probe count, then he will be in an okay position. The problem for Patience right now is, oh, actually, he's got a cannon in the mineral line. He's got some stalkers there. He's, he's pretty well spread, but he's got to defend all four bases, and I don't know if Serral's going to give him time. Serral is way up in supply right now. Army supply up about 20, and he's got a big Ravager, Roach, Ling, Bane, Force, heaps of Roaches and Ravages, in fact, all gathering up on that side. The muters of Serral have been cut down to just six, but they are still a very present threat. And let's check out these upgrades. Right now, it's just plus one for Protoss, uh, which is important up against plus two melee. So plus one uh, will, I'm pretty sure that allows Stalkers to three-shot Zerglings, or is that plus two? Oh man, I can't remember. It's been so long since I did my upgrades daily, um, my ZVP upgrades daily. So I'm not sure, actually, if the Stalkers are going to be effective versus Zerglings. And actually, now they're definitely not, because Carapace just kicked in for Serral. So those Zerglings are going to be very resistant to Stalkers, um, as if they weren't already being, you know, light armored. And uh, being so low hit points as well, you'll often have like seven or eight Stalkers shoot a single Zergling and do massive overkill, which is obviously wasted damage. Ravages, Zerglings, Banelings, just building up an insane count right now. 72 workers is up for Serral. He's still got great creep spread. The Muta's continuing to be a pain in the ass. They find an opening. The Stalkers are going to punish, though. Probe for a Muta. Not too bad a trade for Patience. The Muta's, though, they're going to find these exposed gas probes. And it looks like, there we go. Nice. Does take out three probes and goes back to just save. Oh, no. Get back to the dead space, Muta's. Serral, a little bit lazy. Didn't hold position, those Muta's. And here we go, though. It's time. No units in the wall. Zerglings dive on in. DTs and, oh, no, just Zealots warping in here. Sorry, guys, didn't have the production tab on for quite a while there. Uh, plus two attacks on the way, but it's just Stalkers right now versus a massive Ravager Ling Bane force. The supply is way in the advantage of Serral right now. Way in their advantage. And there's no splash damage. No Archons, no Storm. Charge is on the way. Double Immortal production is on the way. But against this many Ravagers, Lings, and Banes, I don't know how Patience can possibly make this work. It looks like he's just going to try and be very aggressive. If he maxes out on Stalkers, he always has a chance with good Blink Micro. But so, lots of Zerglings coming in, lots of Ravagers. Zealot's trying to harass the right-hand side, not really finding any damage just yet. And the Ravagers, Lings, and Banes still marauding about. I mean, he's maxed out, so Serral really does need to force a fight sooner rather than later. He can't just let Patience catch up in supply or... Eventually, there's always a chance. Good force fields. Good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, sorry guys. I gotta press B. We gotta get an instant replay of that. Terrible observing by me. Three banelings come in the left hand side. Patience not watching. And remember, these are plus two banelings, so they one shot. Oh my god. Back down to 46 probes. The economy of patience gets gutted by just three banelings. A fantastic trade by Serral. And really, this army is looking hopeless for, for patience. Charge lots of mortals and uh, sentries are like the last thing you want against this composition. You really need storm. Um, at least archons, but preferably storm or colossi. 
Zerglings, ooh, that Zealot was not on hold position, but he does get adjusted there. More Zealots warping in down here at the third base. Zerglings look like they're just going to kill the Robo, but no, they realize those Stalkers are too tight on their tail. More Banelings do come in there and kills another bunch of probes. Serral here just ripping apart the economy of patience. He's doing massive damage. And it looks like he is now way ahead. Funnily enough, he's adding Lurkers now. I really do feel like he's losing an opportunity to go and attack right now while he's got the advantage, but I think it's okay because he's killing the probes, Serral can afford to play it safe. He's going infestation, making lurkers, adding ranged upgrades. Patience here, looking desperate to do something, is bringing these stalkers over to the right-hand side. He's going to clear creep and maybe look for some counter damage as well. There's already a lot of zerglings there, but the unit's pushing up on the left-hand side as well. This time, the Baneling counterattack does get caught by the Archons, Immortals, and Charge Lots. Zealots in the main base as well. Patience doing a good job of giving himself some position on the map. Does clear up the creep on the right. The Baneling's coming in here. Serral can afford to take some kind of nasty trades. Four more Mutalisks are on the way, by the way. They're going to be used to hunt down that Warp Prism, no doubt. And Patience here, he's actually bought time to max out. If Patience had have gone for Storm earlier, I, I kind of feel like he would still be in this game. But since he didn't go for Storm, his army, I still doubt its ability to take on this many Ravagers, Zerglings, and Banelings. The Ravagers alone should be able to hold onto a defensive position for a long time. Hasn't been using a lot of Corrosive Vile yet, but here we go. Lurkers coming in. Where are the Lings and Banes? Looks like heaps of them are on the right-hand side of the map. Serral doesn't actually have that overwhelming Zergling count. It's 15 Ravagers, 9 Lurkers. This is, this is a really weird army. Zergling's not really going to find an opening. Patience is going to get on top of this, but... Oh! Serral going to split those Zerglings up. Does he go for the third min fourth mineral line? No, he doesn't. Looks like he's going to find a single Zealot for about 40 Zerglings here. Meanwhile, Patience counterattacking this base as well. Patience doing a really good job. I feel like Serral's giving up way too much time right now. Ooh, nice shot on the Observer. Infestors are coming out, and he's going for Hive. So it looks like Serral's choosing to go for this super weird European, like, Infestor, Broodlord, Hive Tech army, which we have been seeing a bit lately. Um, since Patience is stuck on four bases, doesn't really tech up very fast, plays very aggressive, this is probably the perfect way to play against Patience. You know, against any other Protoss player who goes for high-tech units against stats, this would be absolute suicide. But against Patience, who just wants to attack and make low and mid-tier units all game, it's perfect. Just don't give him that opportunity to take those good trades. The Lurkers coming off here. They want to split up and take out these Stalkers. One really good volley does go down. Infestors here as well right now. He's got to be careful though. Just Infestors and Zerglings does get a nice Fungal. He's going to be able to chain it. Oh man, that's a lot of Stalkers that are going to go down. Very nice chain Fungals. Quite a lot of those Stalkers do fall. Plus three attack is on the way for Patience right now. Does he still have that War Prism on the map? I don't think so. I think those Muters chased down that War Prism. Indeed, they did. Patient's going to be able to take out the 5th base once more, but he desperately needs his own 5th base on the right-hand side. Income tab right now, very even for both players. Ravagers, Zerglings coming in on the left. There's only a few Immortals and Archons here. Uh-oh, Patient's going to take a few really nasty Corrosive Biles on a couple of those Archons. His units are getting kind of surrounded. Both players do disengage, and right now the supply is so damn close... Definitely think Serral missed an opportunity to close this game out, but Patience has done a great job of just buying time, harassing all over the place. And now he's going to start tagging the army. He's still producing lots of immortals against Lurkers and... Oh! The Oracle goes down. Big mistake there in the uh, attention from Serral, uh, from sorry Patience. And he's still just pushing around on this right-hand side with these Stalkers. The composition here, a little bit mundane still for Patience. No Storm, no Hive Tech. Do we have a Great Aspire down? I don't think so. What's the Structures tab? I always forget the hotkey for that. No, it looks like just a regular Spire. So there's no... There are Corruptors on the way, but there's no Great Aspire starting yet. So I'm a little bit confused about the Corruptors. And it looks like... Here we go. Patience looks like he wants to kill a few of these Lurkers if he can. He's still got a pretty powerful army right now. Army supply for both players, it's actually above for Patience right now. Unfortunately for him, though, th though these Stalkers not going to be effective against Lurkers. He's going to try and bypass the position. These Lurkers trying to hurry home right now. Serral's in a bad position, uh, you know, in terms of mobility. His army can't really pick the fights very well. 
just ravages and lurkers are all he has left. He's making that greatest fire now. I think he thought he'd already started it. But there we go. Serral with the counterattack. Jumps on top of that Nexus. He's going to kill that. At the same time, he's trying to get down here to defend his fourth. It looks like he's had to abandon it. But he does take out the fifth base at the same time. Patience always ready with a counterattack. DT on the left hand side is taking out this hatchery. Oh man, fungal corrosive bile lands all over Patience army. But a few, I think the Ravager count might be falling a little bit. He's down to 12 Ravagers. There are still eight Immortals in the mix as well as three Archons. Oh, Lurkers taking out these Stalkers with a few really big hits. Both players taking pretty big damage right now. But the Greatest Spire is getting closer and closer to finish right now. Serral is all in on those Broodlords. He needs to use those to win. Oh my god, the Reign of Fire just falling all over the Protoss army. Patience has got to be careful. That being said, he's up 30 supply right now. He has Blink Tech. If Patience can secure a 5th base, I don't think even Broodlords will do it. There is zero income right now for Serral. Oh, and he's even going to lose a few of these Lurkers here. Patience finds an exposed flank, takes out two or three Lurkers. Just keeps whittling down this force. The DT is taking down the 4th. We do have 35 drones for Serral. He's going to start long distance mining just these couple of patches. But this 4th base is still going strong for Patience. Patience has got a big army. Where are those Corruptors? The Greatest Buy is finished, but he doesn't even have the money to make Broodlords right now. He can make two Broodlords. I think Patience might have actually hung on long enough to close this game out. Once again, splitting his army into two groups, something you'll see quite often on this map. Long distance mining on the right hand side. Zerglings are going to find the exposed workers. Stalkers, Archons, Zealots, all trying to get in here to defend these workers. The Zerglings just darting about. They've been heroes for Serral this game, but now that he's in a low econ situation, he can't really afford to throw these away. His plus three melee is about to kick in, but he's only got 11 Zerglings on the map, so I wish he would have cancelled that upgrade. Really needs these Broodlords. They're his last hope. With so many Archons coming up, finally, Patience is going to see what he's up against. Lurker Broodlord is almost impossible to engage into with a ground army. But once Patience realizes he's up against that, he can avoid getting caught by it. He's just marauding around both sides, right and left, looking for an angle, making more or making an oracle for tagging, making more Archons. We've got, what, two Broodlords, three Lurkers, or five Lurkers and a bunch of Ravages. And Patience, as long as he's spread out and he surrounds this little force, he should be able to kill it. But uh, even better than that, he can just counterattack and overwhelm that way. <clears throat> so yeah, it looks like it's almost all over here for Serral. He's going to try and counterattack down here. DT will warp in. It will be able to defend that base. Uh, Patience just looking for the right angle right now. And he is going to catch these muters. The Broodlords there are steadily morphing one by one. Serral really needs to get mining this base. He needs more units as quickly as possible. The DT here cleaning up all of these Zerglings. Easy hold. Patience starting to push into the tech. And Serral knows it's all Ogre. GG. Holy shit. Patience is such a scrappy god, man. How the hell did Patience <laughs> win that game? I don't even... I don't even know. He was so dead. Um, like, I love the Adept attack i'm not sure why he gets plus one with the giant eight gate like adept attack following up the oracle early game um because i don't think that actually does anything you're always going to two shot zerglings it doesn't help against banelings either i don't think and banelings you're not really going to shoot down before they get to you it does help against roaches a little bit um and it does help the dts but i love that big attack from um from patience there. just loading up the next game just have to log out log in each game because it is an old replay version. Um, but yeah, Patience just so good with his War Prisms, with his counterattacks. Um, Serral really missed a huge opportunity to just use his army advantage and go attack. He looked like he was playing a very good defensive game, but lacked a little bit of game sense um, in terms of knowing when to push. And that's understandable. You lose multiple hatcheries and like 30 drones to DTs. You kill about 30 probes with muters. Very hard to judge the game from that situation. But anyway, guys, let's hop into game number two here between Patience and Serral. Spawning down here in the bottom right-hand 